Augustine's life as a young man was characterized by loose living and a search for answers to life's basic questions. He would follow various philosophers, only to become disillusioned with their teachings. For nine years he was associated with the Manichaean sect. But he gradually became aware that Manichaeism was unable to provide satisfactory answers to his probing questions. At this time, Augustine was teaching rhetoric in Milan. He went to hear the preaching of St. Ambrose, the Bishop of Milan. At first he went only to hear Ambrose's eloquent style of speaking. But the bishop's preaching led Augustine to a new understanding of the Bible and the Christian faith. Sometime in the year 386, Augustine and his friend Olypius were spending time in Milan. While outdoors, Augustine heard the voice of a child singing a song, the words of which were, pick it up and read it pick it up and read it. He thought at first that the song was related to some kind of children's game, but could not remember ever having heard such a song before. Then, realizing that this song might be a command from God to open and read the scriptures, he located a Bible, picked it up, opened it and read the first passage he saw. It was from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Augustine read, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual excess and lust, not in quarreling and jealousy. Rather, put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Reading this scripture, Augustine felt as if his heart were flooded with light. He turned totally from his life of sin. He was baptized by Ambrose during the Easter Vigil on the 24th of April in 387. His friend Olypius and his son Adiodatus were baptized at the same time. Later, reflecting on this experience, Augustine wrote his famous prayer, You have made us for yourself. Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. He went on to become a powerful influence on the spirituality and theology of the Christian Church.